Good morning, friends. Happy Monday. Just checking my volume. There it is. I, I was getting scared for a minute. I didn't hear anything. I thought I lost my microphone again. Happy rainy Monday, huh? I feel like we should have the carpenter singing right now. But we're not going to be down today, even though it's a rainy day in Monday. We're going to have fun. I have lots to show you. Um before we get into I've never done this before where when I get the new products I share them with my customers because I'm I'm always like one of the last demonstrators to end up getting my shipments delivered living on the east coast and everything's being shipped from Utah by the time I get my products to share them I barely have enough time to get a couple of um, samples to demonstrate with you before it's time for you to order Speaking of, the new catalogs came with my order also, so I have these. I will get them labeled and mailed out to my customers here at by the end of the week so that you'll have next week to um, go through them. I can't show you the inside, but I can show you the outsides, um, hopefully without a glare. And then you'll have some time to look through the catalog and see if there's something that you might want to get and you can begin ordering august 3rd and we'll also start the summer celebration this is the second celebration stampin ups doing this year we had one earlier in the spring i and i apologize but i can't even move in here right now <laughs> All of my stuff to show you, and it, I kind of grouped it together. I haven't opened everything, but I did group it in suites so that I could um, show you the, the products that go together and, and the products that I might have um, just ordered on their own. So I'm not sure where I want to begin. Okay. And, and I was just thinking, too, maybe I should have grabbed a couple. I want to remind everybody about the card buffet. The workshop will be on August 27th. And if you're in the Hermitage, Mercer, Greenville, uh, Transfer Reynolds area in Pennsylvania, I am right in the center of all of that. And even if you have not shopped with me and are not a customer, you are invited to attend this workshop. So we're going to make, uh, I will have available to you 12 different cards and you can pick any or all of those cards. They're $3 each if you want to make them. If you buy five to make, you'll get to make the sixth one for free. And if you make all 12, it's $25. So you get a great savings. Let me entice you with one of the little cards that we're going to do. And I will just show this quickly because I don't want to give away all of the surprises, but this one's pretty, pretty adorable. This will be one of the cards that we're going to do at the workshop. Remember the checks? There's our check. And is it because I have the black paper down? I put black down so that I could show you the products better. Let's try that against my gray. Gray always seems to work better. It does. So there's the little chick card we're going to do. I'm also going to um, do that one at a workshop at Extending Grace in Hubbard, Ohio in August. So watch for that event to come if you're from the Ohio area and you don't want to drive this far. But you can make your reservation for any time between 3 o'clock in the afternoon and eight o'clock in the evening. You can take as long as you like to make your cards, no pressure, but I just was trying to um, spread folks out a little bit so <clears throat> not everybody's crowded around a table at the same time. But I have another table to set up if we need to, so it's not a problem. All you have to do is email me at diane at bohostamper.com 
and let me know what time you would like to come and how many people. I also have a special going on that night. If you bring a guest, you'll be, if you bring a guest, you will be entered and your guest will be entered <clears throat> to the raffle. If you bring two guests, your guests will each get a raffle ticket and you'll get two tickets. If you bring three, they'll each get a raffle ticket and you're gonna get three entries. And right, and I like to think that I give away some pretty decent prizes and gifts. Um, I try to make them something that I would enjoy getting. <clears throat> Excuse me again. I just can't seem to talk on Mondays. So far in my basket, we have a couple of stamp sets, free ink pads, a pack of note cards, an acrylic block, a small acrylic block, a Simply Chamois, and that's the, that's the little chamois pet clean. Mine are stained beyond repair, but they still work. So I just haven't opened a new one. There's no reason for me to open one while mine still works. And they come in one sheet. I cut mine and put it in a little container with some water. And then I just rinse them out when they start to get really bad, wash them and put them back in here with some more water. So anyways, there's a new one of those and it's a pretty purple one. That's in the gift basket and a mini trimmer. The little, the little mini trimmer that you have seen me use on several occasions. There's a mini trimmer in the gift basket. So that's August 27th and just give me um, a quick email and let me know if you want to come. I'd love to have you show up. I also want to thank you for those folks that like and share or um, like and share my videos on YouTube and subscribe. Well, I'm saying it backwards. Like and share on Facebook. Like and subscribe on YouTube because you do help me get some um, more people to craft with us. So thank you. Every time you like or comment, you are helping me. I appreciate it. And I want to just brag a little bit here. I had told you about the cloth covered journal class that I was in. And it was a virtual class and it was five days. And we learned how to bind a book, learned all the different stitches, make the, the book cover in the inside. This one I was kind of waiting for because I wanted to hurry up and get it finished, although I couldn't hurry because it was five days. Um, I'm doing a junk journal July challenge where you have a prompt every day in July and then you do something in your journal. Like the first one was welcome <clears throat> and obviously I'm 12 days behind. Well, 11 now because I did the first day. So I did this one kind of quickly. And then I'm going to try to get at least two a day done until I'm caught up now. But I'm pretty happy with the way my book turned out. And I want to show you, I also dyed some of my own paper and made blueberry paper. This was dyed paper in blueberries. Isn't that cool? I also did some in coffee. Did coffee. And I think that one's tea, actually. And I did some coffee paper. I think this one I did in spinach. Yep, this one has a little bit of a green tint to it. I did some in spinach water, some tea and coffee papers. But my blueberry paper, I just was so excited. It came out so pretty and blue. So I just wanted to share with you guys that there is something new to learn every single day. And I had fun. If you have a chance to, um, ever do a book making class and you like paper like I do, I love paper, obviously, um, give it a go. So I finally did get my order on Friday and I thought about doing a quick video on Friday to share with my subscribers and, and my customers and I just thought what's what's the use because if if you were looking for something you probably already found a demonstrator out there doing cards with them. So I decided just to share this with you today. So out of the mini catalog, which will be July, the end of July or August 3rd for customers through December, I got uh, a few things. So 
let me share those with you. And I haven't opened any of the packages. Like I said, I just kind of grouped things together. So this is, let's see if I sit this up here while I reduce the glare. Words of cheer. I got this one because it had some really pretty um, sentiments and greetings. Happy wishes to you and yours. Wishing you a joyful Christmas. Sending Christmas cheer. Happy Christmas from my home to yours. These are just, you know, greetings that we can use on any Christmas card that we make. And the dies that go with this. And this is... Um, There it is. I was going to say, what? That's not what I was looking for. There is a die to cut out the big floral piece, which would be pretty to color in with some Stampin' Blends, alcohol markers. And we have some pretty little, um, I don't know if these are going to be flowers, I guess. That's separate from this. And those look like stars. But I have to cut stuff out so I can see what they're going to turn out like. And look at the happy, how it has the little um, the little branches sticking out of there. But look at this. It's a vertical one. I don't have any other vertical fonts. And we have um, the outline die that would cut out the holly leaf. Oh, this is going to stamp the inside of these flowers, I'll bet you. I don't know if we'll do that one. We'll play. We'll play. So this will be available August 3rd. And when I have our stamp -a stack in August, we're going to do holiday stamp -a stack. Um, we'll be using some of the new products. So that was another reason I was kind of anxious to get them. Um, a couple of the other things that I got not in sweets but because I like them. I did get some more gold foil sheets because at Christmas time, who doesn't love gold foil or silver or copper or bronze or whatever. I also got, um, these are called Adorning Designs Decorative Masks. I don't know when we changed the name from stencils to masks, but I, I do use stencils frequently. I actually, I just got some from Walmart because I needed some. So this one is snowflakes, um, stripes, I would make a pretty candy cane stripe, which will come in handy with the other stamp set that I got. This is just a pretty um, sort of a scallop. And then, I don't know what you call this, it's kind of a diamond shape. I like using masks with um, um, the embossing paste and stuff like that to give it a little bit of texture on the card. Candy canes. This is a background stamp. We're going to use this one and just make a complete background of candy canes. Can't beat that. That'll be pretty. Let's see if I can do this without knocking my computer off. And then Peaceful Place. This is the paper from a suite. I did not get this suite, but I really did like the paper. So, and you'll have to tell me if you like these little product reveals or not, because if you don't, then we won't do them. But I just wanted to give you a little bit of an idea of what's in this upcoming catalog that you're going to get. So we have some pretty snow-covered trees. And I don't know if you can see the little bit of silver shimmery stars up there. These are double-sided, 12 by 12 sheets. Pretty little diamonds. And you'll get two of each design. Oh, this one's already separated into four. I guess you could you could use like that part as part of your card or um, 
that part. It's not going to take a whole six by six square of paper for, I like the, the little mountains in the background. And this just has some, that's pretty, some trees on the back. Uh, snowflakes, these also have a little bit of shimmer to them. I like that. Pretty gray. Ooh, and a buffalo check. Always handy. And that makes me very happy. This was one of the other things that I just randomly got. And this is just a black and white buffalo check ribbon. Quarter inch. Didn't know how wide it was. So gingham or buffalo check is back in. We're still in. Uh, kind of a wood grain, shiny, silver. Guess I should have got. I don't think there is silver paper though. Um, just some pine trees on the little hillsides. Pretty, pretty. And then some. Oh, well, that'd be pretty for New Year's even. Hmm? And this is, um, this coordinates with the stamp set that is in this suite. We'll see. I couldn't get it all. The one set that I wanted, I told you I wouldn't be able to get it. Not all the product was there yet, and I'm not going to buy it separate. I would rather get it all together as a suite and um, get the discount price on that. Pretty silver trees, shimmery. And just some, that almost looks like a, a knit up weave maybe very pretty paper um yeah so i'll have to try to get the other suite when everything is available and these colors are basic black basic gray and smoky slate <clears throat> very versatile we can use that on a ton of different cards I do like to save and put um, my money into products that we can use. I know some demonstrators even like they'll they'll do overnight shipping to get the new stuff the next day, and I wish I could. But shipping is expensive. I would rather get more stamp sets. Okay, you guys are gonna love this one. Oh. And I guess I should be very grateful. I can pick it all up. Good grief. It's slippery. Um, but I was able to get this. Look at that! So this is the Sweet Little Stockings set. And we have dies to go with that. Stocking dies. Stocking dies. And look at that while I'm opening this. Look at those little elements. They look like um, those candies. Those little candy dots. Dots are my favorite, favorite element to add to cards. You know, I always pull out that little bag I have with my extra bits in it, and that's why. So here we have, let's see. We'll be able to die cut our stockings. The presents, some tags, all the puppy and kitty faces, the toe of the stocking, another kitty cat, I think. Yep. Santa Claus is coming to town. How cute is this one? Sideways. Take a quick peek at the paper here that goes also with Jolly Felt. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, these are felt strips. We had some of these for autumn. And actually, I have those out because we're going to use those at the holiday card buffet. 
the autumn colored felt. So we have puppies. Oh, I guess I have to take it out, darn it. I'll have to try to get it back in there. A little kitty cat and Christmas mouse. And again, double-sided, two sheets of each design. And just some little stitched background. Oh, look how cute is this? The little puppies and kitties in the stockings. Oh, that's pretty. Just a cute little design. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I could just almost see Spike with antlers on. Spike would do it. Oreo would probably just tear my hands off while I was trying to get that on there. Too cute. Oh. oh, look at this. This would be so easy. I bet you the dies coordinate with this. You can just go along and cut out little Christmas stockings and add those to your card. Those are pretty, pretty too. Oh, that's nice. Just gold stars with a green background. I'll get you the colors here too in a minute. Ah. And a little doggy sweater to stay toasty warm. That looks like Oreo. Yeah. You have um, a tuxedo cat. Oh, I forgot to show you the back of that one. Green stripes. Sorry, I was so anxious to look at all of them. I forgot. And some Christmas lights. Old fashioned bulbs. And on the back of that one is just a pretty plaid. It's nice to put the dogs and kitties on. And these colors are Basic Black, Bumblebee, Cherry Cobbler, Cinnamon Cider, Evening Evergreen, Old Olive, and Pool Party. I wondered what that one was for sure. Evening Evergreen with the stars on it. Very pretty. And so our felt is Bumblebee, Cherry Cobbler, Old Olive, and White. So use your imagination with those. That's the whole, oh no, here, I was going to say I should have ribbon. There's some cute pool party ribbon. And I don't know where we're going to begin. I've already watched, um, I like you, I watch a lot of demonstrators do their cards and stuff. And I haven't seen... I haven't watched anyone do them with the pets yet. So, I'm not sure. Of course, I think my feelings were a little hurt because I didn't have mine yet. And watching them just made me anxious to be able to get in there and start making something. And I couldn't. All right. And one more sweet. And I'll hopefully have one more after... Everything is available. Did I get it all? I think I did. This is Nature's Harvest. Pretty, pretty. Sending healing thoughts. May nature's beauty bring peace to your soul. A reminder to never forget how much you mean to me and so many others. Good luck and thank you. And these are the red rubber ones. So that's nice. I like that because they give a great impression. Oh, I like that little splotchy. We have Harvest Dyes that go with this set. Let's see, I like to see if they give you extra little dyes like the other ones have. Oh, look at how pretty are these! Oh my god, that's gorgeous. I love the cone flower. Aren't they pretty? Oh, and this is wonderful. Do you know how many times I go looking for a dye that's going to um, fit an extra long sentiment? And I never have one. Some branches. Oh, this is really, really a pretty set. Very pretty. 
that's just way too pretty nice nice and we have with this sweet an embossing folder and this is time worn tight so i think i did see did Ann do this one somebody did this has kind of like a um type font and you can see bits of it through the worn pieces of paper when you emboss so i can't wait to do that one beautiful brushed metal but those are really pretty i don't know if you can get the color on the camera i know this camera is good but it's not the same as seeing them in person but there's gold copper and brass maybe uh, it doesn't really tell you here this is the ribbon with this sweet is almost an embroider lace ribbon i'm going to try to get through these here We're coming up on a half an hour and i have i do have paper cut so if i can get through all of this i will try to get a card in Isn't that pretty? Gorgeous. Diamond weave ribbon, three eighths of an inch. And it's a sort of like an ecru color. Really pretty. Nice. The paper that comes with this, there's a specialty cork paper. All by 12 sheet. And I was anxious to see this. Oh, it's very thin, very thin, because I just didn't know how cork paper was going to work. Very nice. Can you just picture those um, wildflowers on top of the cork? And let's see, the other paper that comes in this suite is this will be Harvest Meadow. I know, I wasn't going to get any more paper. What can I say? <clears throat> And this coordinates with Bumblebee, Cajun Craze, Crumb Cake, Misty Moonlight, and Soft Succulent. So we have some wildflowers. And on the back of that is... Just a bumblebee print. Uh, this is pretty. Very nice. Oh, that's nice. Mm -hmm. And this would be what your um, embossing photo would kind of look like with a little bit of the font in the background and then the worn spots on the paper. That's nice. That would be really pretty. That would be elegant to use on a lot of different cards. And just some pretty flowers in that one. Some you know, grains. Grains of wheat. Mm -hmm. Let's try stalks of wheat. Grains of wheat would be really, really little. Oh, that's pretty. That's like little sunflowers in there. Can you see the little flower in the center? And some Misty Moonlight print. Gorgeous autumn colors. Although we're not done with summer. I'm not ready to give it up yet. <clears throat> we 
and kind of pussy willow type pattern. Oh, that's pretty. That's really very pretty. It's kind of a tile design there. All right. That takes care of my my preview out of the mini catalog. Now, remember this is going to also be with celebration. And so my first celebration, this is a hundred dollar. When you order a hundred dollars worth of product, you can get this delicate dahlias stamp set for free. Pretty. Um, the other stamp set, and this is the one I think we will try to play with here. And there's a ton more in here. Um, these are just a couple that I got. So I got the Counting Sheep. Counting Sheep will be free with a $50 order. And you can also get the dies. The dies also would be free if you place a $50 order. So for a $100 order, you would get this set for free. Or you could pick the dahlias or one of the other sets available to you. Decisions, decisions. Cute, cute. I'm so excited to go play with that meadow set. I love those flowers. And before we get into playing with our little sheep, another, um, boy, I hope I didn't have my book down there. I'm gonna get hollered at. Uh, also free with $50 is Dazzling 6x6 Specialty Paper. And this is a champagne, sort of a diamond cut shimmer paper. And I think I did see someone rub their hands over this. This is not like a glitter paper. It doesn't come off. But we will double check that. Because, you know, once you start playing with glitter, it's on your work table forever. Nope, yep, doesn't come off. Perfect. Very cool. And six by six, easy to store. My favorite. Yay! So that's it. That was my big haul so far. So I was, hubby was watching a movie last night. Oh my god, now I really can't walk through here. I'm stuck everywhere. Um, and so I, I was just going through YouTube, watching my videos a little bit, trying to catch up on some of them. And I didn't have the volume on, but I saw um, Angela McKay do a card. And so I, I liked the layout that she used, and I, so I couldn't hear who or where she got the layout for her card. And I didn't write down any dimensions, although I can give them to you. But I thought this would be cute to do with the sheep. Let's turn this over so I can get my ruler on the bottom. So I got a piece of Knight of Navy. Oh, there is a little cloud in there too. Two clouds to cut out. Good. Because then when I looked at the stamps that I was thinking, oh, no, it's more like farm and party. You know, happy birthday. You're amazing. I was thinking more along the lines of counting sheep. And so I picked um, some nighttime-ish colors. This is, this was left over from, I had gotten an add-on set for one of the paper pumpkin kits this past year, and I don't remember the name of it or what month it was. It was the one with the little fireflies, and um, I'm going to guess it was probably June because it had stuff in there for 4th of July. It had like little firework bags and stuff. Anyways, I had gotten some of the add-on 
and didn't use all of the pieces to it, but I love the paper. Did I just put this on upside down? Really, did I? I did. Doggone it. That's because I'm trying to talk and shoot gum at the same time. So, it's not going to work with my sky on the bottom. It just isn't going to work. Sorry. So, we're going to trim this down. Mm -hmm. Sure we are. And put it on a new one. Not the way I want this to go already. It's just being a little flustered because I wanted to have time to make a card. Oh, we got the one. Grab another. Oh, what's that? Because the second day of um, my July junk journal, the prompt is highlight. And I left, I had the Night of Navy out because I was also using some of this. I'd like to make a nighttime sky. And maybe highlight around the moon and the stars. I might trim this down just a little closer. I don't want that nice navy under there. Too. Do I need a new blade already? I guess I've been cutting a lot of paper. There we go. Work with me. Come on. So, what other cards are we going to do in August here? We're doing, um, I, oh, like I said, we're going to use some stamp sets out of our current annual catalog. We will, I have one old retired stamp set. It's actually one of my wood block sets that I wanted to use, only because the font on it was so pretty, pretty. And I've actually ended up using it on a couple of cards more recently since I pulled that out. Okay, let's go for this one more time, shall we? And then we will make, um, I'll have available some cards using some of the new products. We'll get to... Play with them if you didn't already purchase them for yourself anyway. Because my workshop is after the sale begins, so you might beat me to it. Okay, and then she had taken a piece of vellum and laid it on there, and we will do that. And I used um, a coordinating color. I used Cajun Craze, ran it through the embossing, the mini embossing folder that fits in I should have kept it out because now I can't step out to reach anything these are smaller than the typical embossing folders because they'll go through the mini cut and emboss machine and this was the greenery embossing or the other one had flowers on it and I just or leaves I didn't think that was going to fit in with my nighttime sky So we had a strip of that, and I think this was a two inch strip, yes, that I ran through the folder. And then I took, um, because I have Blackberry Bliss in here, this was three and a half by four and three quarters. And this paper I found out of our um, Poppy DSP, 
And this one I did at three and three eighths by four and one, two, three, four, five eighths. But I thought it kind of matched up pretty well here. So let's layer that onto the Blackberry Bliss mat. I think I will stamp my little sheep in smoky slate-ish, probably. And then I used a Blackberry Bliss mat and a basic white and cut those out with my stitched circles. This will layer on here. This is going to go here. This is here. And then our circle we can put wherever we want. Oh, and I did have, I was going to say I had Blackberry Bliss ribbon sitting there. Smoky slate. Because I want to add a little bit of highlight to my sheep since they're white, I need to add a little bit of color to them to make them stand out. So I wanted to see what color of blends I had. Get a scrap of white. And I think I want this little guy that sort of looks like he's jumping because I can tilt him a little bit, like a counting sheep. And I'm not going to lie, I don't know what these little centers are for. I don't know. And they're cut out of the center of the sheet too. I guess I should take a peek at that. See um, what examples I don't know that I want to take that out yet because I don't know what it's for. Hmm. I need to. Hmm. This is something different for me. I was going to say, it's, I don't know. I do not know. All right. We won't worry about that today. Let's just get um, our sheep stamped. See me always put my block right in the ink. Mm -hmm. Yep. And I haven't used these, obviously, so I just like to either wipe a stamp off on the Simply Chamois or just rub it with my hand first in case there's any um, residue from when the stamps were packaged. 
the white smoky slate and just give them a little shadow wherever the I am frame. Yeah, I suppose I am. Move up a little bit. And then I'll show you my my little trick I use when I'm highlighting white. So a sheep's face is black, right? I don't want to make it black black. So I think I'll use the darker smoky slate. So give it a little bit of highlight here. Oh, highlight. Highlights on my mind. Shadow. Try a shadow, see? Works out better. And then I'll do his legs. Aw, he's cute. Now we'll just use the dark and do the shadow under his belly, his throat. I'm afraid if I use the basic black, I'll lose his features in there, which I might do with the um, the dark smoky slate here anyway. So let's Pink and in the ends for the workshop. Then I use. See, I almost do need black for his nose and his eye. Let me use my black marker. I had this out from yesterday. And if we use the color lifter, this is what I typically do on my white images. I just blend my lightest Stampin' Blend out a little bit with the color lifter. Where I wish I would have had like <clears throat> a light, medium, and dark. And because we have light and dark, this will help you sort of get that medium color that you're missing. And just make him a fluffy ball of cotton. And then I'm not a solid white.
Okay. And put a little bit of, and I might need that again to lighten my pink up. Oh, their ears are black too, aren't they? So let's use the dark, smoky slate. Make this ear darker. And then the only other thing I think I would like to do is use just the white gel pen and put a little bit of white by the eye. Openish. Okay. I'm going to cut this little fella out with the dye. Now that I know there's clouds on here too, I'm going to just cut clouds out of. I don't think I need another layer on my card though, to be honest. Plenty of layers. Lots of dimension. All right, this is the mini cut and emboss. This is the one I just used for to emboss the panel for this card. Put our sheep through here. Now the scratch on my arm was not from Oreo being his normal kitty cat self. That was from me being domestic. I told my husband, our corner kitchen cupboards, I they have magnets on them to help them clamp shut. And I catch my arms on those all the time. One of these days, those magnets are coming off. And if the doors flop open, the doors flop open. We don't have kids anymore. I don't have to worry about them leaving it open. I can holler at him if he does it, or I can holler at me. But, geez, those little magnets are so sharp, they hurt. All right. This is going to be a lot covered up, this vellum. Remember, when you put adhesive on vellum, you can see that. So we only want to put adhesive behind where it's going to be covered up, and most of this is covered. So I can do a nice big strip here, and I look like it's green on there. I must have started to do something and not, and then this is a perfect piece to use because it's all going to get covered up. And this is just to kind of blend. All of, all of the designs and colors together so we don't have anything clashing. I don't have um, bright orange and a blackberry polka dotted thing clashing against another design. That vellum tones it down. I'm going to use some liquid glue. I'll just use my Tombow multi-purpose glue since I've got a lot of dimension in this embossed panel. I did make this the whole length of the blue, the Knight of Navy blue card base. I was just checking to make sure that I didn't have it on upside down again. Thank goodness that one's good. All good, all good. All right. My Blackberry Bliss piece that I have matted I'm going to make a little bow and tie around that. I have to always remember to put my ribbon on my left. It's the only way I can do it. I 
was trying to remember I have something coming today that's not stamping up. I did order um, because I enjoyed making that book so much, that journal. I'm going to make some more, but I wanted some different color of wax red. My wax red is just a natural. And I was thinking, oh, that would have been so pretty if I'd have done that with a yellow or a turquoise. But I didn't have yellow or turquoise. So I did order a set of different colored wax threads. And I'll just use some glue dots to put my bow around the bottom. I got there where my circles go. So, okay, I have room. I didn't really want the bow to. We might have to put a mini dimensional in there. I have so many. Oh, and I'll have another solution for that. Okay. Think of this little guy on here. Those. Put them all around there. And, all right, what do I want my greeting to be on this? I have no idea. I hadn't thought that far in advance. And I can use a small glue dot to stick my bow, make it stay there since it's twisting around a little bit. There. And so, how about, oh good lord, I'm going to have a whole lot of choice. I can't get to anything. Oh. Do I have happy birthday? Birthday wishes. That's not really going to go with that sheet though, is it? Well, what did I just drop? I could use welcome. Oh, my birdie fell out of there. Oh no, I dropped the stamp. That's... And with all the stuff I have on the floor, that's probably not good. Why don't we just do welcome? This welcome I'm taking from the garden birdhouses. And that's my little birdie that just fell out because I used him in my in my journal yesterday. Sorry, little fella, he flew the coop. I have to find him. Then I'll have to figure out what to put on the inside. Okay. Alright, I think we have everything we need. Get this put down. I put it over here to the right to offset, which I think I like. I think I'm going to do that. Mm -hmm. Again, I'm going to use some liquid glue because I am putting it on top of a textured embossed panel. Doesn't take a lot. Welcome in the center of the Blackberry Bliss, Bliss, blah, blah, Blackberry Bliss mat. I can talk. Just center it out. 
here. Hey, this is almost like a baby card. I suppose it could be. Now, this is where I was thinking I might have to use a dimensional, but I, I don't want all that thickness. And so what we can do is just take a small scrap of paper and I don't like loose scissors and just let's build up the back part of the sheep a little bit with a couple layers of some just scrap white cardstock That'll give him that little bit of thickness so that he's not so far off of the base of the card. And I think I'll put two small pieces because I have two layers of cardstock there before he um, reaches the <clears throat> card base. Now when I glue, I put that on the wrong end. Now when I put glue all over the sheet, I'm going to glue to those couple pieces of cardstock. Some tape in between. This little pause. And now his back end's not flopping all around on the card. So there. Made it half an hour or one hour, half an hour for the card. Yay! I hope you did get some inspiration from from the quick little card here. Looking at it in the camera, I think my bow's a little crooked, but I just thought it up a little higher. Ah, well, what can we say? Ain't none of us perfect, right? So there's our little sheet <clears throat> from Celebration, a set that you'll be able to earn for free. And I thank you for stopping by today and checking out some of the new product. I hope that when uh, you get your catalog, you find as much in there to enjoy as I did. If you don't have a demonstrator and you need a catalog, Again, if you reach out to Diane at bohostamper.com, and that's Diane without an E. There you go. If you reach out just by email, I will get a catalog sent out to you. Give me your name and address and I'll get that to you. Customers who shopped with me, you'll already be getting your catalogs. And I, like I said, I'll try to have those out here by the end of the week so you can start making your wish list. And we'll see you again next Monday. Thank you for being with me. Have a wonderful week, everybody. Stop by Friday on YouTube for 15-minute cards on a Friday. And we'll see you then. Bye.